Hi everyone, it's Natalia at Vintage Go Food Designs. In this video, I would like to share with you how I mounted my curtain rod and how I made myself a curtain panel. First of all, you need to get a curtain rod. If you are on budget, I would suggest you to go and check your local stores. Sometimes they have a clearance section and you can get them really cheap. So for myself, I went to Walmart and I got my curtain rod for $24.97. And I think it's a really good price and a good quality. Next step is mounting your curtain rod. You need to get the right tools to mount your curtain rod. You need measure tape, uh, screwdriver, drill, hammer, uh, pencil, and this uh, mounting hardware comes uh, with the package. And it's good if you have somebody who can help you. I did it just myself because I have done it multiple times and I think it's not a big deal for me. But if it's hard for you, I would suggest you to get somebody else to help you. I'm going to uh, take one of the brackets and just put it against the wall and see if it's actually just to check where I want it to drill the holes okay. I'm using a hammer I put this thing here and I'll need, I need a screwdriver I'm just going to screw them in to the wall. It's kind of like bending in the middle, so I'll need to drill two more holes there and I think it will be much better. I think it looks way better now. The next step, you need to get a fabric. I would suggest when you pick a fabric to, um, to consider how much light you want to go through your window. Uh, personally, for me, I needed a thick fabric because I didn't want the light uh, to go through the windows at like um, 5, 4 in the morning. I went to a fabric land and I got a fabric that's thick enough for me at the bargain section for 4 or 5 dollars a meter and uh, I got 2 meters. Once you got the fabric so you need to measure the length from one bracket to the other bracket. Then you divide this length by half and you add two inches from each side for the hems. The next step, you measure um, the length from the top to the bottom or whatever length you want it, your curtains to be and you add 10 inches for the rod pocket and I'll set two inches for the hems. And that's pretty much it.
I spent probably five, seven minutes for each curtain to be sewn together. Now let's hand these curtains. And for the short people as me, you probably need a footstool. And now I have a beautiful, nice, um, decorated windows. It just brings a relaxing atmosphere in your room. And yeah, I really like the way it turned out. And I altogether, it cost me just under $40. It's a really good budgeting um, method, like if you do it yourself love to inspire you to give it a try and try to make a curtains yourself I believe you can do it if I could do it you can do it thank you for watching this video I hope it was helpful for you and let me know what you think about my curtain panels or maybe you have a suggestion how you how to make the curtain faster and maybe a, a easier way so uh, I would like to hear from you and please Check me on Instagram and Facebook and also feel free to subscribe to our channel. Bye! See you next time!